¿Por qué hago bici? Primero es, es, la, es la respuesta a tres meses de confinamiento y un poquito más porque de una manera u otra seguimos confinados todavía. En estos tres meses del de COVID ha pasado todo esto. No hay banda si los elementos no son parte de la banda. Y aquí yo creo que es, que es un cuarteto donde, donde, donde la electrónica también es parte integral del sonido acústico de la banda. Y hemos, y hemos tomado cosas de, de, eh, tradicionales de África, de, de Cuba, del País Vasco, de la calle, del día a día. Todo de una manera u otra es orgánico porque estamos en lo que, lo que se, se pretende con COVID-19 es mezclar la electrónica, la africanía, un nuevo concepto de brass band, pero con elementos de música clásica, jazz y por supuesto la columna vertebral es África. Hey everybody. Welcome to Sama. Um, as you saw in that particular piece, I've got Omar Sosa in the studio, and I'm really jazzed about that. We'll bring him on in just a flash, but I just wanted to give you a quick um, intro of uh, Omar. He tours a lot, so you might have seen him throughout. He's a very busy um, composer, pianist. He's one of the most versatile artists on the scene today. He fuses a wide range of jazz, uh, world slash global music, electronic elements with his native Afro-Cuban roots to create a fresh and original um, city sound, all with a Latin jazz heart. Um, Omar's uh, musical trajectory has taken him from, um, from Cuba, from Havana, to touring in Angola, to Congo, Ethiopia, Nicaragua in the 80s, to a sojourn in the African descent communities of Ecuador um, in the early 90s, uh, to an extended presence on the San Francisco Bay Area Latin jazz scene, to his current engagement with artists from France, Cuba, Brazil, and several North, West, and East African nations. The most recent um, record is a collection of, um, of songs done with East African musicians. So, um, hey, Omar, welcome uh, to Sama. How are you, man? I'm, for good, Sama. I'm good. Listen, this is for Sama. Hello, my brother. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I wish you would have told me that. I would have put you up put, 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 layout. I thought we were no. going to be doing. Uh, we're, we're going to be doing a performance. We've got a couple of songs um, that you recorded in Barcelona that we're going to be sharing those in just a little bit. But first of all, Omar Sosa, how you been? How you been surviving this uh, this well, interesting time? Well, like you say, interesting time. But uh, like I always say, we have a mission, and our mission is trying to channelize what our spirits and our ancestors tell us. And in that case, they tell me every day, please keep doing music. This is, this is why I continue to travel. You know, thanks God, I got my, my first vaccine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I already have it <laughs> because it's you good. Know, I'm, I'm actually tomorrow, I gotta have the second shot. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. Let's okay. see, yeah, let's see. But you know what? Yes, I think it's important. It's important to continue, you know. It, yeah. Yeah, the what we face today in the whole entire planet is like a it's like a, something is a stop. And no, and sometimes they or some or whatever the reality put us in a hole, but we have the decision to move on and to put ourselves in a, in a duration and a dimension that we can continue to do 
what we need to do. I'm personal. What I do is music, yeah, I continue doing music one place to another. That's it, my brother. Okay, let's uh, let's. I'm gonna go into this track right now because some people are on summer right now that have never heard you play or seen you. So let's uh, let's um, educate them and enliven and inspire them um, by your music and specifically this track, "Moments of Joy." Oh. We're so strong on summer, Seattle Circuit Music and Art. I'm Derek Mazzoni. Thank you for being here. Thank you for staying safe. Thank you for staying sane. And we'll catch you just in a flash.
Omar Sosa. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you almost made me cry, brother. <laughs> That's nice. That's really beautiful. Oh, That's okay. exactly what I want to do with this. I can't lie. It's like, <laughs> if I'm not making you cry, yeah. not because you hate it, but because it's like you're feeling it. We miss that. Yeah. We miss playing that. We miss playing on a roof. We miss being places where we get lost and we miss yeah. losing ourselves in yeah. the music. That was that was, uh, that was was gorgeous, first of all. Oh, thank you. Um, and secondly, there's a lot going on there, my man. Well, you know what? You know, th with This project happened in in the first three months of the lockdown. And mm -hmm. I think it was... Uh, was in, in, in 19, in 2019. I started writing, you know, I was, I was finished the tour in the United States and I come back to Europe and, and I said, well, everything is closed, nothing happened. And I started writing a lot of music, a lot of music, a lot of music. And cert certainly I said, well, but now I, now I like to play that music. Yeah. <laughs> How, what, what, where I can play the, this music. So I called a couple of friends, uh, Johit, he's a he's a he's a great Cuban DJ. He lives in Barcelona. Amayur, he is a, he's a John a tuba player uh, mm -hmm. from from the País Vasco, but he he lives in Barcelona. And, and Miguel Mois, Moises and Bon, he, uh, uh, on trombone, he's from the País Vasco too, and he lives in Barcelona. And I called him and I said, Hey guys, so can you come? Can you come to my house? Yes, just to play some music for have, for having fun and drink some wine together. And they, well, they're, they're Basque and they say, okay, man, I'm going to be there tomorrow. And we start working in that, in, in that, uh, in that uh, uh, project. And another friend of mine, he's a, he's a, a, a film director. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told me, hey, man, why we don't film this in the, in the, in the patio, in the patio of your apartment, in the terrace? Mm -hmm. I said, wow, it's a good idea, but you, how are we going to do this? Because, you know, it's no money. Say, don't worry, man, we don't do nothing. At least with this, with a good wine, we can, we can arrive to something. And you know what happened? You know, we, yeah, we did this, this session in one day, just with our friends, of course, with this amount of wine and good cheese. And we have fun and we got the opportunity to, to, go out in a way because we record outside of the house in the in the jar and I, it was interesting because all the all the neighbors when they listen to the music they start clapping oh but oh, yeah 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 because it's a blessing you're <laughs> offering them something that they want which is which is so which is so important right now which i think is also um you know at this time that we're in people are forgetting they forgot how much how important that is to them yeah well to you have know, that. Well, some people, you know, some people still, still, still feel a need live music. You know, I did, yeah. I did uh, last Sunday, I did a concert with my new quartet. With mm -hmm. uh, it was a big bay quartet here in 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 California in Half Moon Bay, and the reaction, yeah, the, we get from the people was only fifteen people. <laughs> yeah. it's not too many people. Yeah, yeah, because it's, it's a pandemic. Uh, it was, yeah, it's a pandemic, a pandemic, uh, pandemic vibe. Let's put it yeah, that way. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Man, it was so beautiful, and and actually between us, between the musician, you know, I I was talking to my manager, Scott Play. I said, "Man, I was so happy to see you happy after the concert, sitting in front of the sea with one of your of your uh, lovely beers." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's here close to me, and and I say, I was so happy, and he told me, man, I was so happy to see you guys play and be happy and make people happy, and I say, well, okay, we need to come back, and and we need to be ready to come back, and we need to continue. This this is my only flag. The only flag I say, we need to continue. Yeah, you know, don't matter if we have Kobe or Kavi or Kuvi or whatever you want to call. Yeah, we need to because. We don't know if in, in, in one year or two years we're going to have a, a, a new mutation or whatever, but we need to, you know, we need to figure out a way to, you know, to be, to be on top of it. We will. We'll get, we'll get back there. But I'm curious in doing this a lot, what, what do you think you've learned um, going through this process that will affect the way you're going to make music, tour, play with musicians, interact with the audience? What are some of the things that you've that you're, you know, that have um, changed you 
You know what? Oh, it's, it's actually it's a good question, man. I want to have fun in every okay. single second. You know, you know, I learned with this pandemic. I lost so many friends, man. I lost my Nudie Bango, Tony Allen. Yeah. I I I lost two, no three, of the singer of my last record. Yeah, I you know. Of course, you no. Know, sometimes when somebody died today, everybody says COVID, but maybe they yeah. they die for another sin because they they come from Africa. Your Monja, uh, Abel, and his friend. Yeah. You know, you. I learned. You know, first less is more. Second, try to avoid stress, and the third, be yourself. Okay. And, and say whatever you need to say. Yeah. Don't hold her. Because if you hold, if you hold your emotion, if you hold your feeling, you know, it's going to come out in another way. Yeah. You know, it's going to come out in another way. It's better say it. And you're going to, and you're going to feel relaxed. And I learned this it, it took over. And actually, I need to be, I need to be around the people I love. Eh? I'm so this, the music. This, so this was a big transformation for you. It's almost like, um, you know, that's a lot of advice for everybody, but you might not have followed that advice if things didn't change like this because well, you yeah, might not have had to. You, you, you're right, brother. You know, I was I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and I, I, I was saying this. I say, you know what? This COVID put me uh, put me in a in a in a state of mind. I say, you know what? Finally, I understand this phrase the old people would what saying before. Life yeah. is too short. Life, life is, is too short. short. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. Yeah, it's <laughs> Actually, later than you think. Yeah, I, I, I was talking to Scott, my manager. Mm -hmm. I think it, it was today or yesterday. I say, man, let's enjoy. Yeah. Let's go with the flow because, you know, today the best plan is no plan. <laughs> yeah. Today the best plan is no plan because what for example what happened in Europe is you know you have a gig yeah do you you want to have a concert that day that day that day and one week later oh, you know, oh sorry one week before they say oh the gig is canceled yeah <laughs> so so what what are you gonna say you want to kill yourself no no you just gotta you need to you need to move on and but this is no good why is not good in another in another area because the level of the responsibility is not is no is not high enough yeah. i don't know if you follow what i say yeah because back in the day you have you have a gig you have a concert you have a contract and it's so if the promoter say well we're going to cancel okay well we need it's a contract here but now because of covid they say we can cancel we can cancel you show and that's it you know, but let's put example. I, yeah, well, uh, well, that's that's it's an act of God. Yeah, well, but 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 what happened to you and you still lost money because somebody canceled your gig, the gig, and they don't reverse, they don't reverse the money. Whoa, it's not fun, man. It's happened to us in Barcelona. They cancel our gig three times, and they don't even give apologize <laughs> to us. Okay, interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for say for say for say this like this. But I need to say it. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I know. I, I, I You're not the first one who has <laughs> taken this platform as a way to like, hey, man, I got some things to say here about the business, and I've got some things to say about uh, the process. And I understand that because well, thank you. I appreciate, so much, I appreciate. So much has changed in this, Ooh. you know, I and, and how you're going to reach people. But before, because I have a bunch of stuff I want to talk to you about, but I feel that um, let's 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 talk a little bit about um, the last record that oh. came out on March 5th, uh, an East African journey. Yeah. And we'll talk about that a bit, but I feel like right now let's actually play, um, uh, let's play this next song because we don't have much here, but I want to talk more, but I want to actually have people experience your music first because it's, 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 a uh, your sound, I don't want to say it's complex as in like it's heady, but you're bringing in a lot of different things. You're, you're one of these artists that can go to East Africa can actually create, um, you know, you can work with a chorus player. Um, you can work with a bunch of different musicians. Your 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 background um, is very broad. You know, some artists, you know, you're you're Cuban, so you yeah. can actually you can live within the Cuban jazz. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. like that's it. But yeah. you're not. 
You're not. Is you're it, like, no, I got to keep going. I got to try different things. And now you're adding electronic elements to it. So it's like, and you're in Barcelona, which is a really interesting place for Cuban musicians, Cubans in general. Like I remember being in Barcelona a couple of years ago. My dear friend Olga took me to this Cuban bar. Oh, and my, no, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was crying. It was so beautiful. It was owned by um, by this amazing um, a, a collection of, of a really interesting um, artists, yeah. patrons, all from Cuba, all with amazing stories because you know i grew up in poland not an easy country you grew up in cuba these aren't easy countries it's not like you know hey everything's nice and go like there's a reason why people leave because it's hard um um, and to uh, for them to go and set up this amazing bar and it's everybody's welcome and everybody's got to tell their stories and it's just like it's such a it was such a beautiful um manifestation of of cuba in barcelona and and the and and then as an artist, you kind of take that all in and create your own things. And that's just Barcelona. Now we're talking about Ethiopia. We're talking about Sudan. We're talking about Mali. We're like we're talking about Angola. We're talking about yeah. Ecuador and the United States because yes. Happy Time is in San Francisco. There's a lot going on there. You're not you're not uh, a. It doesn't sound like you're bored. And B, <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're lacking inspiration to continue yeah. this. So before we go to the next song. What what is the thing that makes you Omar Sosa wake up every fucking day and go like I'm not gonna do that again I'm gonna go do this differently, knowing that you could suck, that it could be horrible, <laughs> that it could be like what uh, why, why? <laughs> what, what 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 is it that makes you go like to not not be afraid because most musicians. Are terrified of you know there's a moment when you're learning but then you're good then you're good like no i'm not on a suck anymore but you're willing to go like nah i'm gonna go like i'm taking it i'm throwing it all away yeah and i'm gonna try again tell me what's it's the simple. thing it's simple yeah life is only one brother you know if if the spirit tell you something in what is the reason to put your brain on top mm-hmm. of the spirit message. So no, I listen. I listen my heart. I listen my soul, and I I you know, I don't have any duration. My duration is music, mm-hmm. and music you can find music in every part of the planet. G- actually, good music and interesting music, and discover new instruments. And for me. You know, one of the most beautiful scenes when I when I make record or when I create music is try to discover new sounds. Okay. Because you know, because as if I discover new sound, that means my my spectrum is gonna be bigger. So and actually I love food and I love wine. And when I travel, the first thing I do is try to look for, if it's possible, the best traditional place where mom cook mom of that i i prefer mom cook <laughs> i i'm a dad and i cook quite well but yes my wife yeah yeah you know, but, but why because through food you can learn the tradition yeah and the true. food can bring you to the right people concerning art scene you yeah. know yeah. yeah i you know i learned you know i remember when i went to, when i went to sudan it was one of the hard places for me to eat. Why? Because they have their traditional food. And I asked for this. And they present the traditional food. And when I saw the traditional food in the play, I say, oh, my God, I need to eat this. What was and, it? <laughs> well, yeah, they have like a little tortilla. Like, a, yeah. But it's like a, it's, it's like a taste like a, what well, tastes good in the end. But it's look like a plastic scene. It's like you know, like you have a plastiline or something. Okay. And and I remember <laughs> I was with yeah with my with my uh, trio, my Africano trio, with Shildo Thomas from Mozambique and Mola Silla from Senegal. And I remember Mola looked me and say, "Man, you asked for this, and now you need to eat." <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. You have. You have and, to actually. You're right. I mean, and and it was interesting. As soon I test and I, I put my in my head out of my uh, uh, my comfort zone concerning food, and I test was beautiful. 
What, what, what well, things are great. And I say, wow, I discovered this. And after that, I was sitting, yeah, I, w- yeah, I was sitting, listening to some music, and I understood a little bit more the music based on the food. So uh, this thing happened to me in a lot of countries. It happened to me in your country, in Poland too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it happened to me in Spain. Yeah, even, you know, in, I, in Morocco, yeah, in South Africa. Okay. You know, it's Slovenia. Well, I can I can mention a lot of places. You know, but... it's, it's time for you to start a, uh, a travel podcast or a travel book. It's like you know, eating well, with Omar. No, no, uh. it's, no. You know, you're not too you're not too far. It's gonna happen. It's gonna start in August with a project we're gonna do. Yeah, with a with a good friend and a, a good critic of wine, Mauricio Gigola from Italy. And we're okay. gonna go to place to place to to check wines and how wine. Can can affect Perfect. music. It's gonna be interesting. We're gonna no, do no, no. It's, <laughs> it's so true. It's so true because people are gonna want that because you know it's gonna start once. What you know, it's gonna take a while, obviously. Uh, but yeah. once people start traveling, they're gonna want to go everywhere, and they're not gonna want to have experiences at the hotels. The hotels are great. I love hotels too. Yeah. I'm not gonna badmouth anybody, but they want to have that experience. They want to find. You know, we talked about this bar in Barcelona, the Cuban bar. What's the name of the Cuban bar? Well, they have a lot. They have a one in Barcelona, but you know what? Yeah, can I tell uh, you the, the, the trans, the, the trans, um, um, the trans woman um, runs it. It's like somebody is a, like a, a pretty significant gay population of in Barcelona. No, no, Cuban. I, 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 no, I don't get it. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, no, I don't. No, no. I no. I don't know now what is. I'll it. look for it. I'll look for it. We'll get you to. But but people yeah. want to know what are the Cuban bars. In Barcelona, where where are they going to get this? When are they going to have this experience? Because we talked about this. Life is short, so yeah. when I go to Barcelona, when I go to Senegal, when I go to Dakar, when I go to Johannesburg or Durban, I want to find these places because yeah. life is short. I want to yeah. go there. I want to eat how Omar ate. I want to go hear this music. So it's something. It's it's very interesting. I, I was talking to your um to your manager Scott uh, earlier when we were setting this up. It's like things have changed, dude. You know, yeah. and it's like even though this is like I don't know. Things have changed and are going to open up other doors and are going yeah, to be de- yeah, really de- yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's going to be. You know, it's a transformation. Yeah, it's a transformation. It's like it is. It's going to go. It's going to go like this or like this or like this. Yeah, but it's but but it's going to still hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good metaphor. That's a good yeah. metaphor. Okay, yeah. I want to talk more about um, the East African journey and a lot more. But right now, we're going to hear more music from Omar Sosa. In Barcelona on Sama, Seal Circuit Music and Art. I want to thank and live. I want to thank STG and thank everybody you. else watching and listening and enjoying thank this right now. Thank you for me.
on the roof. <laughs> on the, yeah, the terrace of my house, man. We have fun. We have fun, man. We have, you know, well, yeah, I wish one day we can play with, the, with this group. But, you know, it's, 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 already, it's already there. It's the video. Good, there. Good, and thank you. Th thank you. Thank you for showing this video because, you know, this, the second video, you're the first. It put oh, really? Thank yes, you. yes, because, you know, it, it's, the new record come out. So we, we try to figure out a way how we're going to organize all the projects we have. Um, But thank you. Thank you, you, you post. And thank you oh. to Javier. Javier. Yeah, Javier. Yeah, yeah, it's my brother. Javier Garcia. Yeah, he did he did amazing work with with all 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 you know, all 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 my friends in Barcelona. We we have a group, it's called Tostón with Jazz. It's mean it's a plantain, mm -hmm. like smash plantain with jazz. And and we all we was talking about to make a project together. I, 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 With this COVID reality arrived, I said, okay, let's guy, well, let's let's do it this video here. And it was Javier idea in a way, and come on, come on, come on, listen, come on, listen. <laughs> Dude, it it's beautiful. And it's also I've never seen any, you know, somebody run Ableton with a tuba and a trombone, and they're they're looking, you know, they've got the Basque um hats yeah. on, and you're creating like, you know, the fact that this wasn't like curated, so it's like that you're just like kicking it out like that is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you awesome so much. work. Okay. So let's talk about the um, East African journey. How wow. did that come about? Let's go, let's go into that. Because you work with one of my favorite um, um, musicians from Madagascar, Raje. Uh, Rajeri, yeah, brother Rajeri. Tell, me, know, tell, me, well, tell me how that happened. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, the project started in 2009 when I, uh, when Scott, my manager, told me, okay, Yeah, we have we have the option to to uh, to make a tour for uh, mm -hmm. in in a country of uh, East Africa, and as soon as he told me this, the first thing that came out out of my mouth was, "Please, let's find a traditional musician in mm -hmm. each of this country." And actually, the first thing that came out out of his cold mouth was, "Man, this is gonna be difficult." But you know, you know, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I love, you know, I love, I love the my team. I love the team where I work. I love my manager, my my agent, the, the record company, uh, and and they work really hard, and they they set in a, a like a session in every country that we arrive. So there was, and I need to say, so far until today. Is one of the best tour, if not the best tour I ever done in my life, and it's it's, it's West Africa, because most of the time when the people talk uh, uh, talk about Africa or think about Africa, it's going to say, oh, it's going to be too complicated. Well, was amazing. Was so well organized between Scott, French Alliance, and and my my booking agent at that time, uh, 3 D Family, and We went to each country and we record traditional musician. But the idea, the, the main idea in the beginning was have a stream, a stream players and a singer. Okay. No percussion players. Why? Because mostly the time when everybody talk about Africa, the first the first thing come is and if if you ask for a stream for a stream uh uh instrument. Okay, let's play Cora. <laughs> yeah. But is Africa have so many instruments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's... You, 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 even one village, one village can have, I don't know how many di dialects and different instruments. And I need to say, was a really, really amazing opportunity. And I, 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 I did the, the basic recording in 2009. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you to my sound engineer in that tour, Patrick de Sandeo from Germany. He did amazing work. Congratulations, Patrick. Again and again and again. Okay. <laughs> and and when I brought this 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 recording to Europe, my first idea was to to embrace that music with a chamber string female orchestra. Okay. But when I start writing music. If, you know, every time I, I put myself in front of the piano, listen to music and write the, the orchestration, I say, no, no, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. 
And in some moment, after almost a year, I say, you know what? I'm not ready to put this music out. And I need how, do, to tell how do you know? How do you know you're not ready? And how do you know when you're ready? And and this leads me to another question because it's even broader than this. Is like, what the hell are you listening in your head? When I'm well, watching stuff, I'm hearing well, your music. I'm like, where the hell is this coming from? Well, you know, sometimes it's sometimes like 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 you were saying in the beginning of our conversation, it's a lot of information. Yeah. You know, I, I sometimes I hear so many sounds. Yeah, and this is why this project that you presented before not with, with a video, Covicien, mm -hmm. was totally visceral because I was working with the DJ in my house with a bottle of wine, one, two, three, and sometimes we were all drunk. <laughs> all right. And then, but the next day, yeah, he come and he say, Omar, this is what we did yesterday. And when I, when I, when I, when I was listening to the music, I said, man, it was too much. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but with East Africa, was completely opposite. You know, when I I, I started writing, writing no, mm -hmm. notation, and I I say no, it's not like this. And I answer your question, why I feel what what it, when when I feel it, I'm not ready, because I, our soul, talk man, we need to listen, our our internal voice. And if we all listen to our internal voice, sometimes we don't make, we, we can avoid a lot of mistakes we make. I completely in agree. In our life. I completely agree. Yeah. And, and, and going back to what we started our conversation with, I think this time right now that we're in and hopefully yeah. leaving has, um, if you haven't listened to your internal voice, a, there's you have to look at a bigger problem. But this was an interesting time because we did yeah. have a chance to go like, okay, what am I doing here? What's yeah. the thing? Because it disrupted everything. And in the context of what you're doing as a musician, I'm super curious, what's next? What Now, now you don't have to answer. I'm not going to like put you on the spot. No, but, I can answer. But, yeah, but, I, but, I, 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 know. And, I know. And did you have things planned that now, hey, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do that now. Yo, can I'm, I say, I'm, yeah, can I say yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. No, only plan. We have seen already done. And we cannot put it out yet. Okay. <laughs> and, All right. And in the meantime, you, you, well, yeah, I'm in the studio now. I'm in the studio now. We are working yeah, with, with, with my friend, a great producer, Greg Landau, Greg in four records. No, only, no, only one. Four records. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, why? Okay. Yeah, if we don't have concert, the only thing we can do is produce music. Okay. And, and, my, and my brother Greg, he's in the same he's in the same universe. Yeah, we are together. I am I'm, I'm here. I'm here working every day with him. Well, well, almost every day, because he have another project too. And we and we project we have a few projects and well, unfortunately I cannot say names because yeah, they're kind of so yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're a little famous. Well, they're a little famous. No, they're they're really famous. <laughs> okay. Right. And it's gonna be interesting because we work with one great singer with uh, beautiful, amazing, and we do music, Cuban music from one of our great master composers, uh, Ignacio Villa Bola de Nieve. And okay. the whole the whole record is gonna be Bola de Nieve. Music and the record is almost is almost done already, and I have I have another record that we did a few years ago with a South African musician. And actually, I need to announce a debut. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna launch in in the in the end of the year or beginning of the next year. It, the new record with a Kukaita in Duo okay. is gonna call Suba S U B A. Okay. It's called it's mean Sunrise. In Monday, okay. and we record during in you know the last the last summer because like I told you before, is no reason to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't you weren't paralyzed by the fear. It's like no, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna use this time to no, really. um I'm going to create because I'm a creator and I'll continue no. to yeah. to put that out. Let me ask you a quick question. Um, how how far away or how close is Cuba? When you're making music, when you're when you're walking around, when you're drinking wine, cheese, how well, close are you to where you where you were born? Well, you know, let me let me let me let me present how close 
QIs to me. This is the backbone of my music. Okay. This is the Cuban clave. And this is... Oh, oh. This, this rhythm is always resonating inside of my heart and my soul. Cuba is always with me. Even if I'm not there, even if I don't go so often there, it's always there. Look at my back. It's there. Oh, well, Cuba. <laughs> what is it about Cuba that makes it like that? It's my root, man. It's my but, root. But, but it's others, too. It's like one of those countries and I'm, that transcends its borders. We talked about Barcelona. We talked about the Cuban population. And we talked about um, people who are from Cuba when they come. What is it about that? The music, the culture. Uh, what is it? From you, you know, that, that, feel, that just it makes it. I don't want to say. I'm not going to say compare with anybody else. But there's something there that is transcendent. You know, what is it? Well, I think uh, the connection I have with my my spiritual world, when I say my ancestors, my spirit, is always brought me to a to a room. I need to I need to I need to be inside and learn about Cuban tradition because even if I if if I always have Cuban tradition in inside of my music is a lot of other traditions I need to I need to I need to learn and this is why Cuba but Cuba is one of the most rich countries concerning concerning rhythm and music yeah yeah, and and you know, I, I always say I'm gonna die without knowing all what I'm gonna know about my own tradition. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, this is why this is why Cuba is always there. Yeah, and even 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 the clave, even even if the clave is not really present in 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 my compositions, the clave is the backbone of my composition. I don't know if if you understand what I say. I do. I do. I'm I'm curious how how do you um, how do you teach that? Can you teach that? Is that something you have to be born with, or is that something that you can actually um, pass that on? Because both, both, both together. You're born with, but you can, but you can get it. Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, if you go to Cuba, have you been to Cuba? Not yet. Oh, I can't. I live in America, and um, and, well, and, I, and I have my, I have my, uh, I have dual citizenship, so I can. There was a lot of things that was go, were going to happen until the pandemic um, hit, but I get it. I have, I have lots of Cuban friends, and I've, I understand. But I'm curious as a, uh, because we're both the same age, and yes. and and we're at a particular point where it's like I am thinking about the things that I'm doing now. And the things that I've done, but also how will it continue? What can I do to make sure that the work continues? And it's even more so for you because you're creating all of this really, uh, really interesting, powerful music, and you've got this legacy and your heritage. Thank but you. you're expanding and moving on. How does this, how does this go beyond just you? You know, how do you take this energy? It's like okay, you know, I have it, but I want to teach it. How do well, you mentor? How you do know, you? you know, I I always say, you know. Dance is one of one of the fundamental things to get the groove inside your body. Okay. Yeah. If you if you learn or at least enjoy enjoy dancing, some let's say some groove mm -hmm. is gonna be inside of you naturally. So you don't need to force yourself. If you if you learn if you learn how to dance, some Montuno, Guaguancó, mm -hmm. or or even if you learn how to dance, a, a Lukumi tradition like a, you know the the Santeria rhythm, you know, the complexity inside of all this rhythm, and the connection you're gonna have with this rhythm with with your body, is gonna make you more capable to 
to play more more relaxed concerning concerning rhythm. Okay. Yeah, because one of the for me one of the one of the one of the most uh, uh, interesting uh, music we have in in our country is the is the bata drum music and the rumba. Mm -hmm. And the, basically the, is is a, is a, is a tra the traditional secret music. Abaqua, all the traditional secret music. As soon you you put one 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 uh, one uh, one uh, feet inside of this world, everything in your mind is gonna be like this. Why? Okay. Because the polyrhythmic you're gonna learn is so complex. Is gonna spend the way the the, the, the way you you the, the, the way you even uh, uh, listen to music. I don't know if 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 I answer your question. No, it does. It does because it's um, there's some music lives here, yeah. and some music just lives here. Yeah, that. Uh, but I, if you if if you move your body to it, then you understand it in a uh, physiological, visceral way that connects you with it. It can't just be here. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you can you can read about Cuban music and it's like yeah. I'm not getting it or. But if you're actually moving, if it becomes a holistic approach, and thank you for answering that, that's really powerful because a lot of people are just like, you know, what's going on? No, and, and you, it's simple. Yeah, I got I got to end it with a phrase. As soon you 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 connect your brain with your soul and your body, you're gonna be a part of any community in the in the, in the, this planet concerning music. Why? Because if you if you connect your head, your soul, and your body. You can play. Yeah. You can play Kiva. You, you can play rumba. You can play you can play abacua, you can play makuta, you can play nyongo, you can play yeah, you can uh, at least well if you don't play at least you're gonna feel it. Yeah. If you feel it, you can translate yeah. in something. You you're gonna you're gonna know how you're gonna translate yeah. this, but you already feel it. This is why I always say man, it's important to dance. And I always say to my student when I when I when I give some workshop or class or whatever, it's fundamental to dance. The music needs to dance. Yeah. Don't matter if it's a ballad. Don't matter if it's a no, it's a Chopin nocturno. The yeah. music needs to dance. Yeah. I totally because agree. I totally I agree. Know. Well, I, I, I say Chopin because you're Polish. No, 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 no. I totally, I totally, <laughs> I totally get it. It's because um you know, I've seen people come to concerts in wheelchairs. They're dancing. Yes. They're connecting. They're they are they're moving them themselves, and it does create this. I'm gonna get heady right now, so just work with me. It creates that opportunity for people to connect with others in the audience. Not so much even with the with the like you know the musician. You're just the vessel. It's like you know I'm here, but if they connect with themselves through dance, through around, then you're making something. You're making something that lasts. Yeah, that will right be on. like they leave and they're connected. Yeah, right. And they'll be connected on. again and again and again. But it's that yeah. movement. It's not. It's not this. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like yeah. industry yeah. people. But yeah. if they're actually in there, and I'm hoping when I started Sama, when I'm doing with KEXP, you know, with Wopop and others, it's like if I can get people to move, they'll move together, and then that opens up an opportunity for a conversation that's not just blah 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 blah, but yeah. actually the whole thing. And you, at, at that conversation, you might not even know what the la what the language is that they're they're saying, because it doesn't matter, because yeah, they're yeah. connected somehow. Totally, brother, you're right on, man. Thank you for saying this, because you know I I always fight, and this is one of the flag I always defend. Let's move. Yeah. Let's you know let's smooth our body. You know, you, you, I, it's, it's, let's put it that way. You know, the doctors and all the all the spiritual matter, they always say you need to have a connection between your brain, your soul, and your body. So it's like this, you know. Yeah. Be 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 moving, man. Yeah, if you if you if you be able to move your body, you're gonna move on. Exactly. You're gonna, you're gonna move your soul. You yeah, your spirit is gonna your spirit is gonna move. Exactly. And, and all your ideas are gonna move. And what come to you is going to be in movement. Exactly, so, well, exactly. This, this is the way I look the picture, man. and this is why when, when we started our, our conversation, I say I don't want to stop. I want to continue being movement. 
Yeah. Because the idea of a lot of of a lot of a lot of leaders in the planet is like, okay, stay in home, stay in home, stay in home. Okay, I understand everything, and I I don't I don't blame anybody. I don't say nothing about this, but we need to be in movement because this is what make everything move ahead. Yeah. I don't know. This is the way I look at the picture. No, no, no. It's exactly it's exactly what needs to happen because. Um, you know, we've gone through, it's been a tough year and yeah. beforehand it was a yeah. tough four years because we had a whole other administration yeah. here oh. it's also happening yeah. in different countries all over yeah. the world. You know, yeah. it's like even in Barcelona with like, yeah. you know, the Catalan and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the Spanish, all of this stuff, yeah. all of this is coming from a place of, uh, of fear. There's one population that is afraid. And the yeah. thing is, though, if you're not moving, that fear just sits there. But uh, if you're listening yeah. and if you're moving, then it opens. And as yeah. soon as you have that opening and it's the heart opening, yeah. the soul, everything, the connection. And that's the only thing that's going to push fear away. That's, that's it, brother. You're right on. And you're going to look the photo with a different angle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. It's going to be the same photo. The photo don't going to change. Yeah. But if if you if you look like this, but maybe maybe the reflection you're gonna have with because the light, yeah, is 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 gonna bring you something different to your brain, to your soul, to your mind through your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no, completely. No, no, no. And and um, and it and it comes down to the thing with music though. It's the vibration, and that is the. That's the beginning of everything, whether it's the word or quantum physics, yeah. it's that. And that is the transformation. That's the change. That's the that's the thing that connects us all. Um, whatever you want to call it. God, yeah. Yeah. spirit, yeah. universe. Yeah. You, you, whatever. Like, whatever yeah. it is, however, however, you know, I don't care what you call it, but it's as long energy. as you're trying it's energy. to it's yeah. energy. It's energy. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. We, we, we are energy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're here. And yeah. then yeah, <laughs> so, Okay, okay, we could we could talk. Okay, okay. we're, we're going to talk for hours and hours, but, um, but we'll follow up because I want to have you on again. I want to bring you um, and have you here back in Seattle, or we'll oh, see each other in different places. I want to hear these four records that you're working on right now. I want to thank everybody for making this happen. Um, I want to thank Christine. I want to thank Dagmara. I want to thank and live and STG. I want to thank all your fans. I want to thank Scott for making it happen. Yeah. Um, and uh, Greg's the producer, right? I'm spacing yeah. up. Here. Yes. Um, winter is coming, Greg. Um, and also, um, best of luck and continues to stay safe. I'm glad you're getting your second shot. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, we're still going to have to be in the masks. Um, yeah. well, um, we're here. We're in. We're learning. We're learning. We're, Almost we're learning. Yeah. Congratulations on continuing, yeah. and con thank you so much for sharing your music. And um, this yeah. is Sama, Seattle Circuit Music and Art, all over the world. Continue to watch us every single week. Uh, we've got an amazing Bulgarian choir, Nine Piece. Uh, next week, more about that coming up. And then we've got Warsaw Village Band in the future. We have uh, we have a bunch of great stuff. It's yeah. been a, it's great. been really fascinating because it's like, yeah. you know, it's great to have people here, but you know, we're still doing it. We're still yeah. connecting. We're still making stuff, which is great. Omar, enjoy right. the cheese. Enjoy the wine. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank and you. Once again, cheers, everybody. Peace, love, and unity. Peace, love, and unity. Bye bye. Thank next you. time. Next time bye -bye. in Havana. Definitely. <laughs> See you, brother. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>